Misen. Misen Plaz. I really like the name of this. It's basically Misen Plaz means everything in its place. So I'm assuming the way this is pronounced is Misen. Anyways. Nice. So this pan. Really excited for this. <sighs> Can get rid of this thing. Let's talk about this. Now, before I even start with this carbon steel pan video, I need to season this. Now, I'm gonna show you one of the ways you can do this. Actually, the instructions that come with this pan specifically actually show you the exact way I was planning on showing you, so that's pretty cool. So, you could either use a neutral oil like canola or grapeseed, preferably, sunflower, stuff like that. Most pans nowadays will actually come with their own like seasoning balm, which is actually pretty handy. Okay, I just forgot to mention, when you get this pan, it has a coating of beeswax on it. You wanna go ahead and scrub that off with just some hot water and scrub it all off before you season the pan. So what I'll do is uh, I'll take this balm. I'm just gonna rub it all over this pan, okay? As much as possible. If you are using oil, you wanna do the same exact thing. Just rub this generously all over the pan. Now I've seasoned many pans and I've done it this way every single time. You can use a towel with this point or you can use your hands like I'm doing now. Then just get a sheet tray, lay it upside down on the sheet tray. Now go ahead and get your oven set to about 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Then just go ahead and pop that in the oven. Now what we're doing here is we're seasoning the pan. That's what it's called. We're seasoning it and we're building that patina basically which protects the metal and creates that non-stick surface. So a well seasoned carbon steel pan is basically non-stick. You crack an egg into it, it's not gonna stick. And also you wanna make sure not to wash this guy in the dishwasher. Don't wash it with soap, stuff like that. I'll show you how to wash it later on in the video. Now, as you can see, it's been in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes and the color is changing. It's turning like this bronzed golden color. Now it just needs a little bit longer, so I'm gonna to toss it in until it turns a dark gray, black almost color. As you can see, it's kind of dirty there. I'm gonna talk about how to clean this off real quick. But before that, let's go ahead and talk about the skillet real quick. Yes, Misen is sponsoring this video. Thank you, Misen, for sponsoring the video. Now, what is my verdict on this pan? I fucking love this pan. Now, I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring the video, but I've been wanting this pan for a while. I've been bothering Misen for a while on this pan, so I'm really stoked to be working with them. Uh, I just love carbon steel and this one right here just screams quality. As you can see, it's got a nice thick build quality, it feels heavy in your hand. Also, also, a lot of pans are usually really weird on the handle. This one right here is not. It's very comfortable. It's got a little lip right here, so it feels really comfortable in your hand, especially when you're holding it with a towel just like you would in any other kitchen. I also love the curved shape. A lot of French pans don't have this really nice curved shape. This one does, so if you're just tossing something in it, it won't fly out the sides. It will actually stay in the pan and it just works great. So I really dig this pan. I will be using this in the next few weeks to let you know more in depth on what I think about it, but so far, so good. So this thing is virtually indestructible. It'll last up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And like you saw, I was using it on my induction burner. So yes, it is induction compatible. Now, another great part is the materials are very high quality. Not only are they high quality, but they are half the price as the competition. So you're getting great bang for your buck. Another thing I love about this pan is once you've got it seasoned, pretty much nothing will stick to it. You can crack an egg on that thing, just slide it around, flip it, whatever, it's not gonna stick. So carbon steel is very handy in that way. Now, this is what the pan will look like once it's seasoned very well. And if you would like to get this pan, they're giving a discount to my followers. So head over to the link in my description and there'll be a code, a cook named Matt down below as well to get a percentage off. Okay, so you'll notice after cooking, all this crust left over. 
Now while the pan is still hot, what you could do is just take a thick towel like this and then just give it a once over wipe. And it's good, nice and clean. So that's my secret for keeping my carbon still clean. I just give it a wipe while it's still hot and everything will pretty much come off. And as you can see, it's getting darker. We're building that seasoning. It's getting darker, more non-stick. Now, if you've got some more stuff that is sticking to this pan and you really need to deep clean it, here's what we'll do. Some kosher salt, just like this. Kosher salt in the pan on a hot surface. Just sort of scrub it around. And there you go, as you can see, it's nice and clean. Some of my seasoning will start to come off, so I need to add more oil to it. So I can go ahead and add canola oil, or I could, or I could just add some more of this seasoning wax, toss it back in the oven, and then repeat the process. something from it there it goes pretty cool I'm gonna make some uh, I'm gonna make some chicken wings Pokemon just came out with Happy Meals at McDonald's that come with cards. So uh, I kind of went overboard, but look at that. Isn't that a cool little box? Cards are so beautiful in these packs. Look at that. Definitely a lot of packs to open. Um, I might keep them sealed or maybe give some away actually. Comment down below if you want me to give some away. And also just got in this big box of my gold flaky salts. These are gonna be really rad. Here's one of them. This is the pink Himalayan flake salt. These are coming out February 22nd, so stay tuned and you can get your very own flaky salts from me, the cook name Matt Spiceology collab. Okay, I've been doing this for nearly 10 years, but it wasn't exactly huli huli chicken. I had to wood fire grill these wings every single day before service, and the recipe was just a little bit different than a normal huli huli chicken. I realized that it was pretty much huli huli chicken when I actually made huli huli chicken for the first time. You can find the recipe on my channel. I just love these wings. You have this deep, dark, rich mahogany color. If you've cooked them long enough, low and slow, it caramelizes so nicely, and then you have that nice heat from you guessed it, Frank's Red Hot, if you saw it in the cart. Um, there's also a lot of aromatics with that ginger and nice saltiness with the soy sauce. It's just a very well-balanced marinade. We're gonna marinate these overnight. Now, uh, the reason why I'm doing a little video on this again is because NFL, yes, freaking NFL is uh, gonna be showcasing this recipe and uh, my little video that I'm gonna be making right now on uh, their live TikTok. So, uh, pretty stoked about that. Don't you hate these stupid things? I can never get them off. There we go. Now, this is the most important part. These need to sit overnight at least. This can't be done the same day. This is how you're gonna get all that flavor. This is basically it. Just slap a cover on that guy. And just toss it into the fridge overnight. Now when we pull these wings out, you can see the color, it's, it's darker, it's kind of changed there. What I wanna do is just pull these out of the liquid, 
get them draining off and patted dry. Now what we would do at the restaurant is we would reuse this one more time. So you could reuse this brine another time for another set of wings, just once more. Let's just look at the gorgeous color these wings have. Now all the years I've been cooking these wings, now all the years I've been cooking these wings, I've been doing them on a wood fire. You could do them on a cast iron skillet, and also you can do them on a carbon steel skillet just like this. Look at the gorgeous color on these wings. If you guys have been following along on my Insta and TikTok, I just made them for the Super Bowl on NFL's page. I actually made it on their page live. Um, if you watched that, pretty cool, let me know. Comment down below. If you didn't, you missed out. That was a lot of fun. Anyways, um, the recipe for these wings is in the description down below, as always. And yeah, I made these in that carbon steel pan. It worked great. I usually do it on a grill, wood fire and it works fine in that pan as well, so you could do it in there. These are always so good. Been my favorite kind of wing for years now. Okay, friends, well, that's the video. Uh, like I said, go check out the link down below to get yourself one of these carbon steels. Really big fan of this pan. I'll be using this a lot. Let me know what else you guys wanna see. I'm gonna start doing much more of these cooking vlogs, so I just need y'all's comments down below to let me know what else I should do. I don't know, should I make cat food for her? I, I, I don't know, let me know. 